There's a lot of uncertainty for tech workers right now, and I totally get it. You're working hard to keep up with the latest trends, and at the same time, you are probably feeling that nagging fear that AI might just replace you. And I'm seeing it everywhere. Software engineers wondering if AI can code better than them. Data analysts worried about AI automating their work. And even cybersecurity professionals questioning whether AI will handle threat detection better than they can. But here is the thing. While everyone's panicking about AI taking their jobs, something is happening behind the scenes that most people haven't even noticed yet. And it's creating a group of engineers who are about to become some of the most valuable professionals on the planet. Now, I've been in tech for over a decade. I run my own AI cloud security consultancy and I've helped more than 500 students learn cloud and AI. Now in that time, I've noticed a transformation unfold from the inside. And here is what I'm seeing. While other tech roles are genuinely facing disruption, cloud engineers are about to dominate the entire AI revolution. And when I say dominate, I don't just mean that they'll have good jobs or high salaries. I mean that cloud engineers will determine the winners and the losers of the AI race. Now think about it. In any industry, the people who control the essential infrastructure hold all the power. Oil companies control energy, banks control money, and AI, well, it runs on cloud infrastructure, which means cloud engineers have a chokehold on three absolutely critical areas of AI, market, deployment, and economics. So in this video, I'm going to break down exactly how this is playing out, starting with market control. Right now, there's a massive digital arms race happening between the biggest companies in the world. Open AI, Google, Amazon, Microsoft, Meta, they are all competing for one thing, and they're spending absolutely unprecedented amounts of money to win. And I'll tell you exactly what race they're trying to win in just a moment. But first, let's just take a look at the numbers. We're talking about over $320 billion that tech giants are planning to spend on AI infrastructure in 2025 alone. Amazon is leading the charge with $100 billion in planned spending. Microsoft has committed $80 billion specifically for AI workloads and data centers. Google's targeting $75 billion, Meta's planning to spend about 60 to $65 billion. We've literally never seen anything like this in the history of tech. And they're not doing this for fun or because they have money to burn. They're actually doing it because they are trying to win one specific race, the race for AGI artificial general intelligence. The first company to achieve AGI that can perform any intellectual or physical task that humans can, which essentially controls the global economy. These individuals will become some of the most powerful people in the world. And for cloud engineers, it means there's a huge tailwind of $320 billion of investment. Just this year alone, it's flowing directly into our skill set. Every dollar being spent on AI infrastructure represents demand for cloud engineering expertise because every CEO is betting their company's future on AI right now. The stock prices of Amazon, Google, and Microsoft are now directly tied to their AI capabilities. But here is the thing. All this money and investment doesn't solve their core technical challenge that every AI company faces, which means there's an even bigger choke point that cloud engineers can control. Building an AI model that works in a lab or a test environment is completely different from getting the same AI to work for millions of real users. Now you can have the smartest AI researchers in the world. You can have revolutionary algorithms, but none of that matters if you can't do this one thing. And that one thing is scale. But how do you even scale? Well, it's through the cloud and it provides the flexibility, the scale and the raw computing power that AI demands. So if you're bullish on AI and the future of AI, which let's be real, who isn't bullish on AI, and if you know the implications that it will have across every single market sector, like health, finance, logistics, tech companies, then obviously you have to bet on the cloud. They are inseparable partners. Now, every major AI breakthrough that we've seen in the last five years has been powered by cloud infrastructure. Every company that's leading the AI revolution is simultaneously investing billions in cloud capabilities. Cloud providers like AWS, Azure, and GCP are now as much as AI providers as they are cloud providers. Now, the future of AI doesn't exist without the cloud. And it's not just the big tech companies that require their cloud to scale their AI systems. Now, I see this all of the time with startups building what we call ChatGPT wrappers. Basically, applications that take ChatGPT and add their own features on top. Maybe it's a tool that helps lawyers write contracts 
contracts or something that helps marketers create ad copy. Now, this might start very simple. User types something in, it gets sent to OpenAI's APIs and a customized response comes back. It sounds easy, right? But then what happens when a thousand people or 10,000 people start using it at the very same time? Suddenly, that simple application needs to handle massive traffic spikes, manage thousands of API calls efficiently and make sure nobody is waiting around for responses and don't get hacked. Now, every AI company, whether it's OpenAI or a two-person startup, hits the exact same wall when their AI application is ready. They need to leverage the cloud to scale. And when something like ChatGPT goes down, it's not because the AI has stopped working, it's because the infrastructure problems and cloud engineers will be called upon to fix it. So we've covered how the massive investment wave is creating unprecedented demand for cloud engineers and how without cloud infrastructure, the AI revolution simply is impossible. But there's one more choke point that cloud engineers control. And this one determines whether AI companies make money or they simply go out of business. And that is economic control. Now here is the reality. Most AI companies are burning through cash faster than they can raise. OpenAI valued at $300 billion in their most recent fundraise is projected to lose 40 billion in 2025. And that's assuming all their revenue projections actually happen, which honestly, I'm not really convinced that they will. Training and running AI models at scale is incredibly expensive. We're talking about companies that spend 60 to 80% of their overall funding just on the computing power needed to keep their AI running. And just training one large AI model can cost between 10 million to $100 million. Then running that model so millions of people can use it, well, that's thousands, if not millions of dollars every single hour, 20 24-7, which makes skilled cloud engineers who know what they are doing, who know how to build their infrastructure and architect the most efficient, cost-effective AI infrastructure, obviously incredibly valuable. A cloud engineer who really knows what they are doing can often cut the cost while actually making the system work better and more reliable. And as more companies try to compete in AI, this really becomes a life or death moment. The companies that can deliver AI services cost-effectively will dominate. The ones that can't get their infrastructure costs under control will simply be priced out completely. Therefore, cloud engineers literally decide which companies are the ones who survive and which ones simply shut down. So what does all of this mean for you? Well, the cloud computing market is projected to hit $5.7 trillion by 2034. That's a 7x increase from where we are today at around 800 to $900 billion. Now, unlike other tech professionals, cloud engineers are what I like to call the Swiss army knife of engineers. Now, most tech professionals work in silos. Software engineers mainly just code. Data analysts work with data. Cybersecurity experts focus on security. But cloud engineers, they simply can't work in silos because cloud infrastructure doesn't work that way. You're doing DevOps, you're doing coding, you're writing infrastructure's code of Terraform, you're speaking to clients, you're implementing security, you're managing data, databases, you're handling networking, you're basically writing the whole infrastructure stack. And in a world where AI is automating more specialized tasks, having multiple skills actually protects you because a cloud engineer is a generalist. Instead of being really good at one thing that AI might eventually do better, you understand how all the different pieces fit together. Now look, we are living through the biggest technological transformation since the internet was created. And personally, I'm genuinely really excited to see what the next wave of innovation will bring. Now, the only question that remains is whether you are positioned to take advantage of it. And if you want to start learning cloud today, then check out my ultimate cloud engineer roadmap right here, where I break down everything that you need to learn in 2025.